So for us, um, th this quarantine is, is fairly interesting because our recent work talks a lot about being confined in the home. Um, it's often talking about my experience with chronic illness and how uh, because of illness flares, I'm unable to leave the house for days at a time. And all of a sudden we find ourselves not able to leave at all. So it's kind of um, bringing us to revisit a lot of the themes in our work and a lot of the ways we think about home as a place of respite, but also a place of social separation. What was interesting in uh, this kind of revisiting that we did uh, is uh, going back to one of our favorite authors who is Clara Suspector, and she's someone in her novels and novellas wrote a lot about this idea of home. She was someone who uh, was often confined uh, later in life because of a chronic illness. But also uh, early on, this idea of home for her was like this kind of shifting, uh, never stable thing because she uh, was following her husband around the world. Uh, he was a uh, diplomat and she was a uh, work at home mom, like a lot of uh, women in the 50s uh, in uh, developed countries were. And... So she, uh, she talked a lot about this idea of boredom uh, and stillness and uh, this kind of idea of the body being confined at home uh, was something that was uh, really interesting for us and in, the, in relationship with this experience that we have. And so drawing from her, we were able to uh, create a bunch of text and ideas for images for the works that we have in the exhibition. Yeah, um, the idea of home as a place of boredom, as a place of potential discovery and renewal is, is really present in these works because we're always taking the point of view of a protagonist who is um, dealing with a disability that impacts their movement. And they're basically having to reinvent the way they are in the world. So their, their world is often the home. Um, in, in our work, we, we kind of bring that theme about in different ways. There, there's obviously in, in the text, in the scripts, but also in the use of different types of performance props, which are meant to either weigh the body down, to change the way it moves, to influence the way the body can perform. And, and through all of that, we're thinking about this relationship we have with the built environment around us, how we basically become human through using tools, through using objects, and these things that we make end up impacting the way we are embodied creatures so you know if we can extract that to the to the different realms we can think about you know the way that a medical device or a piece of sporting equipment might change one's movement or behavior but also the way that the the articles of the home change one's movements and behaviors